we've got a bit of that uh, forest fire smoke still going on so hopefully that'll uh, clear out of here pretty quick the uh, the trail i need is off down this way this is the start of most of the trails up through here so a little chilly this morning but uh, oh, i assume we have some fresh horses up through here right today because of the particular nature of the thing this is a compass trail job today but, uh, always make sure if you're coming out somewhere like this that you have your compass with you because it's not a bad idea right so i will stop rabbiting we'll put this away for a bit and i'm gonna head on down that way look at that sun rather nice eh? right on i go that's nature's magic eh nice carpet of yellow there very nice not sure what these flowers are but there's a lot of them look at that not sure what those are they're very nice that sun is nice coming up through there as well yep right i'm gonna head on down the trail do some more in a bit there's a continuous chorus of cows <laughs> There's a nice big waterfall down the bottom here. Like I say, not been down in here for a very long time. Last time I came here, I came up to plan to do some walking around this area. And it wasn't supposed to be raining. But by the time I got here, it was absolutely hoofing it down. So uh, I didn't stay. <laughs> I went to a different area. Yeah, if you listen... You can actually hear the waterfall down the bottom there. It's nice this time of the year, all the flowers are out and stuff. You get up into some of the high meadows, the flowers are really, really nice. Those purpley things, not sure what those are. Susans, I know those are called Susans. Yeah. Right. That doesn't make a nice view. I don't know what does. Nice, isn't it? Eh? One good thing about hiking out in this area is there aren't too many people out around this way. But it is uh, it's used by uh, horse riders a lot. And it, uh, you don't see that too many uh, like hiker hikers out around here. That's why it's a nice place to come to. Just walk around the mud. Nice scenery. That tree's nice. Eh? Certainly nice scenery. This is a nice part of the, the area. Oh, we got some uh, deer track in here. Oh, no, hang on. No. We got deer track and a canine. Got some kind of canine here. Not sure what that is. I don't think that's a dog. Could be a coyote. Yeah. Okay, down in there. There is a rather nice waterfall down in there. You have to be a little bit careful up in here because there's a lot of crags and holes and a lot of very steep hills too. This is great, uh, great habitat, but it's, uh, it's also prime grizzly country, so you have to be a little bit aware down in here. Make sure you bring your bear spray. Right, I'm heading that way. That's the waterfall down in the bottom there. You can actually get down there. A little steep, but you can actually get down there. Nice place to go and sit in the sunshine. I can see a whole myriad of trails that people have made to get down there, but if you actually go over the top of this hill, you can uh, cut back on yourself. It's way easier. It's only a nice day for a walk. I like these, these tree roots. Great, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> yeah, like I say, last time I came here, it was nothing but absolutely poor with rain.
Yeah, nice, eh? Nice part of the world. We're into backcountry camping. This is the place to come. <laughs> Just has to be a kilometre off the road, which isn't too far up from where I am now. And then, uh, then you're all good. If you look down through here, you can see where people have been down to the falls and everything. That's actually the easiest way to get down there. Down there, and there's another bit up here where you can actually cross and then come back on yourself. Wake, wake, rise and shine! Make the noise, because like I say, this is prime bear country. So. There are grizzlies up in here and black bears. Not in the same place at the same time, because they don't particularly like each other. Just up along here there's a nice little bridge, so I'll do some more when I get to the bridge. Right, arrived out at the bridge. It's quite a few little bridges up and down through this way. Still enough water in the creek for it to be nice, eh? It's cool. Now, according to my ever trusty map, which I have here. Uh, where are we? Just past the falls. I'll well, take the map. Just up here. So I need to go probably 100 meters and off on my right here somewhere. I'm going to go up the trail 49. It's a plan on the map. Let's see how that works out. I'm not going to go to volcano or whatever. Oh, yeah, look at that. I actually have a map. Good grief. I say there's loads and loads of trails down here. I know there's some really nice trails go off to my left here. That takes you back out towards the road, which is really nice. Up there. Yeah. That's the George Creek Gorge Creek Trail. That goes up there. That's actually quite nice. A bit rocky. But we do have a map over here. It uh, looks like this fell over. <laughs> yes. We are currently, where are we, Gorge Creek? We are down in here. There is a backcountry campground way up in here. And Volcano Region, all that kind of good stuff down there. Most people that come down here tend to go down to this area, Sheep River Falls, Junction Creek. But uh, there's, there's some nice places down in here and what have you. But that's not where I'm going today. I'm going that way. Right, I'll do some more when I uh, get further up the trail. One thing up in here, there are several river crossings, but they're just easy to step over the rocks. I just stepped over that, no trouble whatsoever. Now my trail goes on up this way. And if I'm right, the trail I want when I come back is over there through those trees over there. So I will head up this way and uh, hope that I'm right. Somebody else has been up here because I can see footprints. So there are fresh horse tracks and there are Fresh people tracks. The canine tracks have vanished. I don't know where they went. I know I need to head up this valley, so that's where I'm going to go. So up this valley and peel round to the left. There's an important junction up here somewhere, but it's a fair ways up. Now this is one of the important things I would say to people about making sure you have a compass, making sure you know how to use that compass. So let's just do a little bit of compass drill here for you. I orientated my compass before leaving the parking area. So I know we got north there. And I know this first part of the trail heads approximately northwest-ish. So if you look at that, that's approximately northwest-ish, is that way. And that's where I'm going. This is why I like to use a compass. Compass and a map. If you've got a compass and a map, you're never lost. But, uh, these GPS things and all that kind of stuff they are great they have a use they have a place they can store a lot more information than just a single map and a, a compass however if you run out of power or you find yourself in an area that doesn't have very good coverage or whatever i can tell you now down in here there is no phone coverage unless you've got one of those really really fancy sat phones there ain't no uh, no coverage down in here there ain't nobody coming to find you down in here so so I'm heading up here and these hills in front of me here, that's the, I'm heading up around there somewhere. So that's my plan. Get out of town, wander around a bit, 
This is the last weekend for Stampede in Calgary. We have the Stampede every year and it uh, gets crazy, crazy busy. But uh, some people like all that really crazy busy. Personally, I don't. I'd rather be out here looking at that. Look at that. Isn't that marvellous? I will take that over a crowded street any day of the week. Lovely. Right, got to cut across this big open grass bit and then peel around to my left. And this is why you bring a compass because I have a trail there, a trail there, and a trail there. And on the map, there just by the, above that 49, you can see that there's a nice little Y junction. However, I know I haven't traveled far enough, and I know that trail 49 that I need heads north. So uh, if you get to here, you would automatically peel off around to the left. But it, uh, the trail actually goes straight on. As you can see, this is the advantage of having a, a compass and uh, having a map. So my trail is actually that one there in the middle, which is not what it appears on the map. However, around here, there are so many side trails and what have you, it's just insane. That uh, another river crossing there, but easy one, just hop across the rocks, job done. But this is why you use a compass. And then I'm heading up that way. And wherever it goes, that's where I'm going. <laughs> so let's see where it goes. Yeah. I see some tire tracks up here. I think we had some cyclists up through here, like mountain bikers. Yeah, straight up through the trees there, right up through the middle. That's where I'm going. Right, let's put all my gear away until I get further up. One thing that's nice about this area is every single corner you go around, there's a nice, stunning area. In actual fact, I could leave my GoPro running for this entire trip because there is something to see along the entire trip. Now I know I need to cross this grass and there's uh, this is where navigation and having an idea of where you are comes in because I know that what I'm looking for disappears off up around that way somewhere probably up in those trees over there you can go up through that gap over there and keep going that will take you, I think it's called Surveyor's Ridge and uh, Volcano is off out that way and it, uh, a lot of people do the Volcano Ridge Ooh, look at the sun. The sun's starting to turn back to white again. It was bright red this morning, then it was orange. Now we've got that nice yellowy kind of colour coming in. It's nice, isn't it? Eh? This is such an amazing area. It really is. More people should come out and hike this area because it's actually really, really good. Yeah. I think I have another little crossing up here if my memory serves me correctly. All right. I'm going to head up across this meadow and then uh, peel around. Just forgot to mention for navigation purposes, this is the next bridge. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a few of these little old bridges and that around here. But, uh, years and years ago, all this stuff used to be maintained better than it is now. But it's uh, the money from the conservation pass that we all have to pay. Um, it's supposed to go for trail maintenance and stuff but you can see there's a pretty old bridge i'm not sure how much maintenance that all this gets up in here which is the other reason that i'm up here today is to uh, make sure the trails are marked clear up a bunch of deadfall i know there's a lot of deadfall up in here and uh, just makes it easier for everybody else makes it way more navigable as well if you see nicely cut trees you know you're on the right path so the thing up in here, look at the mayor, horse tracks, cattle tracks, you name it. A good sense of direction, and like I say, a good map and a compass, and knowing how to use it. This is an absolute prime example of why you do it. It's a good training ground too. If you want to learn how to navigate with stuff like that, pick somewhere like this, because it's actually real easy. It's not too difficult where I'm going. It's up over that way. But it's actually a very nice area up in here. Look at it. It's lovely, isn't it? Just make sure you stop every now and again. Make some noise. Wake, wake, rise and shine. So it echoes throughout the entire valley. And if there's any of our large friends up in here, they, uh, they know you're here. Bears don't want to come in contact with people. And people don't want to come in contact with bears. So... As long as you let them know you're here, nine times out of ten, 
you have absolutely no trouble with them whatsoever. Just let them know you're here. Yeah. Right. I'm going to continue on up that way. Do some more in a bit. Well, I was just saying about the bridges being a little old and not repaired much, but this one seems to be a little newer. I don't know. Hard to tell. If it out, this one's uh, held up better. And just up around this corner, I think I spotted another one. Which will be very nice. Oh, there is two. Look at that. Oh, luxury bridges. Love bridges. Yeah, better than walking through that lot. Yeah, that's great for the horses and the cows, but for us me feeble humans, I will take this way. Right. On the map, where I showed you just now, there's a a Y, Y junction, and way in the distance on the tree over there, I can see a yellow marker. Right, so on the map, there's a left, a straight on, and a right. The straight on goes up a hill. I can see on the topo map, it goes straight up that hill. And the one I want, I think, goes up the valley to the left of there. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Right, I'll find out when I get over there. Look at all these cobwebs. Cobwebs everywhere. Grass is absolutely full of them. Thousands and thousands of them. I'm just going to do a quick 360 here and show you why more people should hike this trail. That's the way I've just come. The sun, like I say, is finally turning white. And on that tree, way in the distance over there, big pine tree, you can see there's a yellow marker on it. Always good to look out for those. It, uh, like I say, this is a very popular horse trail. Look at these cobwebs. Absolutely everywhere, stunning. Thousands and thousands of them. All glistening in the sunshine. Yeah, obviously a good healthy population of spiders in here. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that nice big yellow sign over there on the tree is exactly what I'm looking for. Perfect. And I should, if I'm right, there should be up in here not too far away because I'm probably only a few hundred meters from the base of that hill. There should be a trail. It goes off to the left somewhere. That's what I'm looking for. Go see. Oh, this is an amazing area, isn't it? And the good thing is, you can camp up in here. Just pick a spot, put your tent up. You can camp up in here, no problem. This is all uh, wildland park and what have you up in here. Absolute profusion of these purple flowers. These things are everywhere. Look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Right. Oh, actually, that sign is more of a yucky orange than a yellow those diamonds are quite often yellow so from a distance it looked like yellow maybe that's just because i'm old i'll take that <laughs> right yes so somewhere up here i need to turn left yes that's actually like a pinky orangey faded yucky whatever whatever it is it actually stands out incredibly well you can see it from a considerable distance and it's markers like this in the mountains that really really do help it uh, the leave no trace people like to remove every sign of human existence however it uh, that can actually be dangerous people can get lost they don't know where they're going oh, you've got a nice marker like that yeah that marker will be there forever and that's where i've just come from look at that lovely right going to continue on up this way into the forest a bit and uh, peel around to my left here somewhere a little bit more navigation that is the way I've just come and this is the turn off three-way junction as you can see we've got a very nice map over here I'm just going to show you something on this map the uh, the concept of scale on this map is a little off right so uh, where did we start we started over here came down through here and now it's showing Volcano Ridge up through here. That little dot there is where we are, that little piece. The concept of scale is a little little off. If you're not sure uh, where you are anyway, you're going to struggle to use these maps. It's nice that the maps are here. I think it's great that the maps are here. However, if you have this map, remember I said earlier, there was a, just going to orientate, there's a 
three-way junction right there where uh, 49 50 and 53 join off on the left this is where we need to go off on the left now back in the day when they used to put up a lot of trail signs you'll find these these things are priceless see on there another one of those nice markers it's got a volcano ridge on it so if you're doing this loop that i'm doing and basically i'm going around what's called hill what is it 618163 i'm going around there a concept of distance is also important from this junction here to where i need to turn off is approximately each one of these squares on here is a kilometer right so to where i need to turn off is about one kilometer up here on my left hand side so somewhere up here once i've walked that distance and you can kind of judge it you just get used to walking distance it uh if i get all the way to a big t junction at the top i know i've gone wrong i'm heading to volcano ridge and my day is about to get much longer however <laughs> what i'm looking for is a trail approximately one kilometer up here on my left hand side and that's where i'm going to turn off right what a glorious place i know the, the forest fire smokes a little bit of a pain at times but i can tell you now for today like if this was a plus 30 day this would be hot out here hot and humid but uh, as it stands at the moment this is just amazing i'll take this yeah absolutely perfect yeah, you can't get much better than this it's like we've had that i've been following this same horse and i i'm pretty sure that this horse is heading up volcano ridgeway as well so from that junction where i just was I need to roughly do a a, a kilometer now, some people religiously count out the the steps and all this kind of stuff which is great but the length of your steps varies so you just get used to judging a kilometer like if i walk way too far i instinctively know i've walked way too far so uh, i'm just going to enjoy this forest listen to the sounds of the forest stop waffling and uh, get on and enjoy it look at this lovely well here i am further down the trail and i've come to another one of these nice little bridges just a bit of scrub to clean off this one it's uh, all in all very nice walk up through here i'm enjoying this this is good right let's just tidy this up a bit and i'll move on right so i've come to this area nice shaley rock area rather nice my trail looks like it goes down and around that corner there So I know that I must be getting fairly close to where I want to turn off. So somewhere up in here is where I need to go. Another bridge. Excellent. A little muddy in patches up in here where the horses have made hoof prints. Horse prints are a double-edged sword because they're a bit of a pain. However, they do keep the water in an area right it makes these hundreds and hundreds of little puddles which does actually keep the water in the forest so i don't know it's a bit of a double-edged sword in my book <laughs> i don't like walking on horse ruts because their feet always follow the same thing so what you end up with is like this ladder pattern of footprints like up here through these roots look at this bit yeah you end up with like this little ladder pattern of footprint but, uh, not my favourite to walk on, but it, uh, this is certainly a nice forest trail. Like I say, off to my left is a large hill, which I suspect is the hill that I need to go over. So somewhere along here, I'm going to try and find the route that goes over. It's here somewhere, and uh, many people walk it, so I have no doubt I'll be able to see some kind of sign. If not, I'm going to Volcano Ridge. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Either is good. My plan was either a big loop or a little loop. My option, my first option, would be the little loop. My second option is the big loop. So if I miss this junction, big loop it is. <laughs> but it should be coming close. There should be a connector that goes across here somewhere. So if I find it, I'll do a bit of video show you where it is okay so i'm making progress i've just come out of the forest up there somewhere in the middle of god knows where and that's mount Ware over there i know that that is or volcano ridge sorry it uh 
so I need to come there's a rather nice trail here I've got to go around this mountain on my left hand side got to go all the way around it and then uh, I'll see where I end up well I think I'm right I think I've ended up on the right side of the hill the mountain that I'm going around is off to my left so I'm gonna kind of peel around that way in a minute and uh, yes trying to find your way onto this trail I can totally see why this trail is hard to find and uh, there's a lot of old logging roads up in here so I put a few cut ends on branches obvious branches that people can see I try to limit the flagging tape as much as I can at the uh, you can see there's a few areas looks like we've got a wettish area coming up down the bottom here I want to head more down that way let's see if I can find a way around this wettish bit see what I can find yes see the the color of the greenery has changed to wet greenery so I'll go down into here and then uh, I could see a cut line that went up across up over the top there but I think uh, I think the cut line I'm looking for is bigger so I will just mark this tree in case I have to come back up here again what I do is I just cut off these little little pegs like this so anybody coming up here you can see that somebody's obviously broken some of these off in the past as well you can see that they were uh, people cut not fell over uh, same as underneath bits like this I'll cut off a few pieces like this and it's blatantly obvious that people have come this way there we go Done. yes this is quite a nice meadowy bit at the bottom here Looks like we've got some nice flowers now the only problem with meadowy bits is there's usually a million trails leading into them and a million trails leading out so I know at the bottom of this hill I need to be heading roughly round into the sun and the sun is over there so I will do that in a moment once I've crossed this bit I've got a feeling my feet are about to get wet well this is a hike that just keeps on giving there's a really nice creek by the sound of it down in there mountains over there ridge yeah wow I have to say there's a trail this is actually quite interesting I like this it's a lot of this shyly stuff yeah Looks like we had a moose up through here as well. There's some very large moosey prints. There's a creek down there. I don't really want to go down there. But, uh, yes, there's a very large moosey thing or something that's come up through here. Oh. And this is exactly why you bring a compass with you. Because up in here, I can guarantee you, you could get turned around up in here real fast real fast there's about a million and one old logging roads up in here <laughs> yeah look at that isn't that nice there's a very nice creek there's an extremely nice trail that i've just spotted at the bottom of the hill there running down through so this seems to be heading downhill so maybe i join that in a minute i have to admit that trail down there looks way better than what i'm on up here so I might head down there it does appear that I'm heading down that way so I will uh, put this away in case I end up sitting on my rear end and then uh, see where that trail goes that's handy I found myself at a little creek and uh, the water is flowing in the right direction now I know that where I want to find is somewhere towards the Sun right about now and where two little creeks cross there's a little join further down now there's a trail that kind of goes along the bottom but it's all kind of messed up and it's kind of an animal trail that kind of goes along this kind of bank but <laughs> I think the old trail was probably down there at 10 feet below me however it all looks a bit chewed up the problem is in 2013 we had massive floods come through so a lot of these trails and that up through here just became completely yeah I can see that was an old trail just there this be right next to me so we have a new trail that has formed just uphill from it which is good we just put a little cut mark there so see straight cut marks you know you're on the right trail there yeah well, that's pretty cool yes so this water is actually flowing in the direction i need it to go in and the sun is in the right direction uh, there's deer 
bugger. Holy shit, that made me jump. There was a deer just up here, not too far up in the trees, just suddenly took off. It uh, obviously didn't like me being here, I guess. Right, yeah, they always make you jump. <laughs> the big moosey track thing that I saw back there just now, they, they vanished, so I don't know where they went. Moose can go places I can't, so. <laughs> With great ease, they make it look easy. You know, you see a moose running through a meter of snow and you're like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> me, I have to wade through it and it takes me 12 hours. Right, just going to trim a few of these small branches off this uh, upper trail here because this is actually uh, a much better trail than what's at the bottom. I think that paid off because I cut along that top bank and I could see the creek in the bottom and the old trail kind of crisscrosses, crisscrosses all over this creek. So taking that piece, I got to here and uh, I literally just come out the trees over there. But it was a trail that goes all the way along the, the high side and avoids all this walking through the water. And I now have, basically compared to where I've been, this is like a six lane highway. <laughs> so I'll take this, bit of easy walking for a while. That's rather nice. Yeah. And in theory, the water's going in the right direction. The sun's in the right direction. So hopefully I'm going in the right direction. I haven't looked at my compass for a while because I'm trying not to. So. <laughs> oh, looks like my luck of not having to cross creeks has just run out. Uh, here's another one. Trouble is, where the cows cross the creek, right? They make it really wide, I guess. So I think I need to go over there. But I'm going to head downhill through the forest and see if I can find a, a nice dave bridge. The wet feet don't really appeal to me at this moment in time. I can see the deer have been down through here. So. Oh yeah, that looks a lot shallower there. But I have learnt in the past, you put a lot of effort into... Oh, there's another trail up there. There's another trail on the side of that hill that runs all the way along the side there. Hmm, I wonder if that avoids this wet bit too. Because that's the hill I'm going round. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of this horsetail in here. And as soon as you start seeing horsetail, you know it's wet. So, uh, wonder that. Oh, there's a log. That one looks slimy though. Yeah, you notice there, there's a rather nice trail the other side. And there's a trail up the bank to my left. So, I will walk through the swamp at the bottom. Me being me. <laughs> Look at this. This is swamp in here. You've got to be careful because you step into a hole here. So I think. Oh, there we go. See, told you. Holes everywhere. When you get into this kind of crap, I think I'm going to take the wimp route and I'm going to skirt along the side of that hill up there. So let me just go up there about 20, 30 feet and skirt along the side. Well, I found a creek crossing and the so called better trial on the other side is uh, obviously used by cows a lot. So far, ooh, ah, and there's a footprint I don't want to see too much of. See the pad? Toe, 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 toe. That's a bare footprint. That's a bare print right there. Yeah, but it's an older one. So. Way to wicked run, John. If you have a look at a track like that, if it's still got nice, clean, defined edges, like if the uh, the shape hasn't changed, then. Uh, that's when you want to start being careful because if they're heading the same direction it wouldn't be difficult for you to catch up with a bear down the trail watch out for slippery roots too it's the only trouble with cows and horses that they make these kind of ruts yeah a bear print but i only saw the one okay so not sure where he went as long as it's not my way i don't care <laughs> make enough noise or he'll hear me coming but i suspect this is some kind of a trail because I keep seeing saw cuts like the trees have been cut off here and whatever so, that's the stuff I like to look for because uh, trees don't snap in straight lines people make them straight lines so I can see a whole bunch of them all the way down through here and that creek is going the right way that hill if I'd have gone up over the top I'd have come up over the top of that one there somewhere no idea where it would have brought me out but 
somewhere. Oh yeah, there's a load of cut trees down through here. Somebody deliberately created this trail. Quite a muddy mess, I can tell you that much. Yeah. But we did have some good rain the other week and that's exactly what the forest needed. There's some good rain. You nearly got a picture of the sky then. Yeah. That wouldn't have been good. <laughs> in that creek though. Oh here we go. Creek crossing. Right. Oh this is a cut line. These big straight lines that you see through the forest like this, this is this is a cut line with a junction of two creeks. So let me just get across this lot. I'm gonna have a look on my trusty map and see what it says. Yeah because this is a cut line see heading that way and this is where you get a compass out because I have learned in the past that it is so easy to end up going the wrong way on a cut line so I'll just get up here at the sun I'll get out my trusty compass set her up on north there's north over there like that so there's that mountain there's that cut line so somewhere down through here and round to the left is where I need to go. Yeah, I think one of the problems with this trail and that up in here is uh, in 2013, like I was saying, got chewed to absolute hell all of this lot up in here. So I will get out my trusty map. This is a problem when people follow all trails and all that kind of stuff, you know because that track might have been laid down years ago so here's a cut line down the bottom there where it says 43a i'm somewhere down near there so there's one two there's three trails that head off on my left are down here somewhere that go to approximately where i want to go so i'm literally right around the other side of that mountain already yeah it didn't take as long as i thought right so down through here somewhere i'll follow this cut line for a bit and probably within a hundred meters or so looking at the map I should find a trail Ooh. hey human footprint I'm not the only person that's been up here yeah that is the first human footprint I've seen since I got off the uh, volcano ridge trail yeah so I've seen one bear footprint and one human footprint <laughs> that is it so, yeah on the volcano side there was a lot more uh, people prints loads of them up there with the horses and because that's a much more popular trail wakey wakey rose and shine give me a second here i just saw something brown down there and large not oh, that's not not moving so that's good it was a good idea when you're out in the forest make a bit of noise every now and again but every now and again stop and just have a look because uh, you'll be surprised bears eating or something you'd be surprised how easy it is to walk up on them oh this trail is horrible okay i'm gonna find a i don't like this bit of trail this is garbage right i'm gonna see if it's better down by the creek sometimes you find better trails along by creeks and the reason for that is the deer in that like to walk along the creeks because it masks their noise Oh yeah, here we go, there's some kind of animal trail here, but see, you wander down through. That was really swampy and yucky up there. So, uh, quite often see the deer trail here. So, they like to wander along these places, and it just makes it easier for them. Because uh, it's quieter, it masks any noise that they might make, and uh, makes for a good getaway for them. So, right, I will continue on down the trail. And see what else I find. Well, oh, this is an amazing little area to explore. There's a million and one trails, all of them pretty well worn, and all of them kind of going in the same direction. So I'm kind of following them, hopefully, for knowing that whoever or whatever made this trail knew where it was going. It should do. I need to be round 
Why? Well, I'm going in the right direction. Uh, an amazing little area to explore. There's a million and one little trails in here, literally. This is obviously a crossroads for wildlife and whatever you're coming up through here. There's a huge amount of wildlife up in here, plus all the uh, the farmers and that, all the ranchers and that have all their uh, cattle and that up in here as well. So they all make their own trails. So I'm going to go down here for a little while. My creek is still off to my left, so I know I'm going to follow that for a little while. And then uh, I'm going to cut back round. Let me trip over that one. Hopefully not me. There we go. <laughs> This is an amazing little place to explore. I like it in here. Yeah. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be a route through here, just kind of a general direction. Just back there, I thought I saw a person print. It wasn't really well, it's rained on it since it was made. I'm still going in the right direction, so this will do. My expectation for today was to come and explore, clear up a little bit of trial, and just generally have a wander around the forest and then slow down. And this is actually my idea of a perfect slowdown. Don't get much slower than this. Yeah. If I'm right, off to my left hand side somewhere, there should be some large meadows, those meadows that I walked through when I went up the other side of the creek. But the forest is so thick in here, you can't actually see nothing, which is why it's a, I know the hill is still off to my left, because every now and again I keep getting a, a faint glimpse of it, but uh, we shall see, see how good my sense of direction is. I am, I'm desperately trying not to look at my compass. <laughs> because my compass will give it away straight away. So, <laughs> so I'm trying not to. I'm just using my uh, built-in compass and uh, following my instincts, if you like. I've been doing this a long time. Yeah. Right. Since most of this forest just pretty much looks like this, I will put this away for a while and we'll just continue to wander down here. This has opened up a bit, it's given me a bit more of a, a view which suggests to me I'm in the bottom of a valley somewhere so uh, as long as it doesn't end up as a big watery swamp I should be good yeah. right. done that before now walk miles and miles and miles through the mountains think okay yeah I'll just cut back across here because I know where I am and suddenly you find yourself in the middle of swamp again and you suddenly realise oh this is why there's no trail there yeah <laughs> you find there's an amazing fungus there's, there's amazing fungus all over the show in here there's loads of it which is a good sign of a healthy forest so yeah there's also a million cobwebs which is a pain right i will put this away continue heading wherever this direction takes me and uh, see what i find oh, now look at that my spidey senses have brought me straight back to where i thought i should be ha 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 well, I'll be damned. Yeah. Oh, I must have come out very close to this trail too because I can see there's a bit of pink tape over there. So all those millions of little trails that come through there must uh, come out over there somewhere. Well, I'll be. Look at that. There's the trail. <laughs> I only came out about probably 100 yards up if that. Yeah. Something's been digging in there. We'll avoid the things that dig in there because they tend to be quite large. Yeah. So I'll cross this meadow and as I said in my earlier thing, when crossing a meadow, don't rely on the trails that you see because unfortunately animals make trails in every direction you can imagine. So wake, wake your eyes and shut. Just make a bit of noise. The only problem with following a creek downhill is eventually you have to cross it and I'm really hoping if my spidey senses are good that I'm going to come out down in this bottom corner here somewhere 
and there will be a bridge that's my hope I'm not 100% hopeful I might be rock hopping but or getting wet feet one or the other or building some rocks I'm not sure which but somewhere down in here I had to guess I've got to cross this creek here somewhere oh hang on there's a trail goes up over there oh I might be further down than I thought I was huh. let's have a look oh yeah I see a creek crossing there what have we got we've got some mud in here let's see if we can avoid the mud 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 glorious mud uh, what about over there what do you reckon let's see if I can avoid some of this Tufts of grass in here. It's the only trouble with these big swampy bits. There we go. Right, let's have a look. What do we got? I need to cross this somewhere. It's the only problem with following a creek downhill. Eventually, you come to this. What have we got down that way? Oh, there's more rocks down there. This is obviously my creek crossing. And there's some more rocks down there. Let me just head up and around the side there and I'll see what I can do. Another creek crossing. There's some of these big square blocks in here. I'm not sure that they're not blocks of concrete. They look like they're blocks of concrete. But whatever they are, I'll take them. Because they actually make very good sticking stones. Yeah, they actually look like little blocks of concrete. I'm sure they are actually. <laughs> look at that, perfect. I don't know who put those in there, but well done. Yeah. There are several creek crossings up through here. If, uh, if you'd like to have bridges on the trail for every crossing, this is probably not the trail for you, but if you like route finding and just basically stomping around the forest, literally you've got the whole forest to yourself, there ain't nobody up in there. <laughs> yeah, just make sure you let somebody know where you're going because if you fall over up in there, chances are they ain't gonna find you for a very long time. Yeah. Yep because I was coming out to an area that I don't normally come to. I actually did leave a fairly accurate message with somebody that I know uh, where I'd gone. Look at that. Nice, eh? Why is there not a great big two foot high rock with a flat top down in the bottom of there? Because I could go and sit down there and have my lunch. Never find those huge rocks in the places you want them, eh? <laughs> right. I do happen to know there's a very nice bridge down here as well so if I don't find a rock I might just sit on that bridge all right let me put this away till I get there now here I am across the other side of the water this meadow is starting to look familiar that mountain in front of me is looking familiar and if I'm right my trail should be roughly over this hill and around that corner I think where I went when I set off, and I'll tell you in a minute if I'm right, it was off to the left and up that valley. And I think where I need to go is over this muddy corner. I can see there's a muddy corner that's been chopped out. So I'll head over to there. I can see a little trail that goes up the spine of that mountain. And I think I know which one that is. That looks like missing link over there. Watch the go for holes. Yep. Let's get back up here. Oh, yeah, there's a nice big clearing piece. Oh, yeah. This is the well worn trail. Oh, hang on a minute. I think this is where I came up this morning. Yes, it is. Because I came up and I went over through that gap over there. So I've literally gone around that entire mountain in a somewhat scenic route. There's no definite trail. But if you like exploring and you're good at a bit of route finding and what have you, it's real easy, just keep the, the big hill on the left hand side. But this is where I turned off this morning, this little trail here. Now, oh, look at all the yellow butterflies. Look at all these, look. I don't know how close I'll be able to get before they move off. Look at them, loads of them. They're after all the salts and what have you. In there. Look at them, butterflies everywhere, isn't that amazing? There's a lot of salt and what have you in the ground, and that's what they're after. Hey you look, know, there's some tracks, just like mine. Right, now then, how did I get across here? I think, 
see if I can see my shoe print over there in the mud. So we will go one, two, three, and we are across. Excellent. Yes, a little bit of rock hopping in places, a couple of creeks. The creek that's a little further over that way, to the left, the one I come over there, so that's a little bit wider, but it's still very manageable, no problem at all. And those two creeks join just down here. So, look at that. I got all the way around. And the temptation to use my compass on the last bit was actually very, very tempting, I must admit. So what I need to do, because I haven't stopped for lunch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a nice bit down by a creek here somewhere. There's some rocks and some water. And I'm going to stop and have a bite to eat, I think. Yes. You know, there's some tracks just like mine, but they're going the other way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can honestly say, if uh, you like exploring a little bit and kind of getting off the beaten track, the first part of it, the Volcano Ridge Trail, that is a very, very popular trail. But where you kind of peel off and go over the top of the mountain, 46 or 48C or whatever it is, hang on, let's have a look. I did mark a bunch of it because I did find a whole bunch of it. And I, I now know why it vanishes. It's because the, uh, the far end of it and this end has just got completely overgrown. Yes, what was it? 48C I went across. Yeah, so uh, a lot of it is marked. I did leave the tape up there. So all you uh, people out there leave no trace. If you want to go and take the tape down, if you find the trail, please do. And uh, while you're out there, can you stomp the trail in a little bit more and make it more obvious? I did a, a whole bunch of cut ends on logs and stuff like that so people can see that it is a, a walked trail. It actually brings you out. It's really weird because it brings you out on what looks like a giant cut line and on the map there is a huge cut line that runs right up through these mountains goes right up over that way up to surveyors ridge but it uh the one i found is not that one so if you look on the map and you see a cut line don't get confused with that because i found a cut line that i didn't see on the map and it's a dead straight cut through the forest real easy to see and i can see exactly why you people get confused with that because it's uh yeah if you look on the map it only shows one cut line but i did actually find another one and you actually walk down a piece of that cut line and just head round to the left in the end real simple oh, butterflies everywhere absolutely amazing They're all after the uh, the horse poop of course yeah so if i'd have carried on down through that forest where the cut line is i'd have gone down through all that forest over there somewhere and uh didn't really want to do that so I took a dive trail and it actually worked out very well for me. Yeah. So I will head down here, find a rock to sit on, and I'm going to have something to eat. Well, since I couldn't find a big rock in the creek, there is a nice bridge by the creek. So, we'll get that pack off for a bit. I'm going to sit here, and in here, I have to have a whole bunch of food, spare clothes. See, if I'm coming out on a hike like this, and I don't know how long I can be, I've got enough food in here for two days. I've got two days worth of rations in here. So, I'm going to have some instant energy. Sausage roll. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a big loop or a little loop. It's always a good idea. An extra bash factor. It's always a good idea to make sure you have everything with you. I haven't everything I need in here for two days. Oh, I'm some more people. Right, let me just get out of the way. How's it going? Good. Oh. Warm? Yeah. It is, yeah. 
Where are you headed? Uh, um, Mount uh, where? where? Mount where? Oh, yep. Okay. I've just done up around this one. I started on the. I went up to the um, volcano ridge trail. Yeah. Around the back of that hill there to see if I could re-establish some of the. I just cleared out a whole bunch of. I do all the trail clearing and stuff. But it's a it's a mess up in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah the back, of, be back of that mountain is just yuck. Yeah, you should be all right on the main trails though. Sounds good. <laughs> Have, Have a good, good one. one. Have a good one. Hmm. Most people I've seen on the whole trail. Mount Ware is a a, a popular uh, climb from here. You can go use the Volcano Ridge um, Trail that goes up across, and the uh, you could see the mountain up through in the distance there. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Let's see which way they're going to go. Oh, okay. Turn the map around, or take the map. The um, the piece of trail that's straight over there through the trees. That is the way they're going to go. Looking at this, they're going to go um, trail 43. But look at it, yeah, and head up straight up that way. Hmm. Cool. Oh, well, so it's always handy to have a map. Ooh, that GPS stuff is good. But I'd rather have a map. Yeah. Hmm. It's a good place to stop for lunch. Just the sound of the creek. The mountains up there, look. That's nice up there. That's cougar country, that is. I wouldn't be at all surprised to find there's a pair of eyes up there watching me down here. Not at all. They could be literally just sitting on the edge of the rock and you wouldn't even see them unless they move. Hmm. That is very cool. Yep, I like that. Right. Now I've had something to eat. I can get on my way. It's uh, a nice place to stop for uh, something to eat. And I'll do some more, get further up the trail. One last look, make sure there's nothing left behind. Easy to leave stuff behind. Over the bridge, thank goodness this one's not a bridge. <laughs> Done enough creek hop in today. Like I say, that is absolute prime cougar country up there. Would not be at all surprised to find that there's a pair of eyes up there watching me somewhere. Well, something's up there watching, I guarantee it. Yeah. There's a gap in the trees that I can see up there with like some scrambly bits on it. Don't wouldn't be at all surprised to find it. There's a cougar hideout. Yeah. Right. Oh, that is interesting. Don't often see people on this trail. But, uh, the first part of this trail, I guess this piece up to the road, is uh, what a parking lot. Uh, not much of a road, I can tell you. It's, the road in here is not much better than what I'm walking down now, I can tell you. But, uh, if you're a little bit nervous on really rough roads, I probably wouldn't recommend coming down in here. But, and there's a whole bunch of cows. God, there must have been a hundred and some odd cows in there this morning. Yeah. And they don't like moving out of the way for you. They just stand there and look at you. <laughs> uh, you can't go round them, unfortunately. Uh, right, I'm going to head up over the top of this hill. I'm going to see if I can get down to the waterfall, maybe. Let's see how reasonable that is to get down there. Let's go from there. I think we can actually head down in from here somewhere. If I can see the rocks, where the waterfall is. They're down in there. Oh, they're down in that bit there. If I don't see a defined trail, I won't go down in there because. I don't want to keep stomping over all everything, but, but I'm willing to bet you there is one there somewhere. Because it's just the other side of this rock. Let me have a look. Oh yeah, I see something there. What do I see? Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get down that bit. 
That don't look too bad. Let's see what I can do. So again, if you suddenly get a picture of the sky, no, it didn't work out so well. So I'm getting down onto these rocky bits. That'll be good. I'm not going to tempt fate, I'm just going to put this away until I get down the bottom. Looks like you can actually cross here, there's a trail up the other side, but yeah, the uh, water comes in. It's a natural rock shelf there, so that's rather nice. I've done some pictures down through here years and years ago. It's the first time I've been down in here for bloody ages. But I, I seem to remember I was probably 10 years younger then. So, it's rather nice, eh? Big slab rock there, look. Yeah, I bet you, uh, that's why there's a cross in there. I bet it's where the animals come down here. Now, I don't know if I get down in the bottom of this gorge, whether I can get back up the other side. I might have to come back up the way I've gone. I wouldn't recommend walking across that rock. That would be slippery as all hell. So, I will head down here. See if I can get down to the corner. Used to be able to get down to the corner. As I say, I was a lot younger then. <laughs> For some reason, as you get older, these things get harder to do. I don't know why, but they do. Oh yeah, we've got a gap across there now. Yeah. So you used to be able to go down across here and get out onto those rocks at the far end. Oh, hang on. He says, sense of adventure. Where's your sense of adventure, Dave? Let's see if I can get down there. Okay, that looks a little slippery. Anytime you're doing stuff like this, three points of contact at all times. Right, so that looks less slippery. It's all slippery, just some bits are less slippery. Look at that, isn't that nicer? I want to get across to that rock on the corner to see if I can do that. Through here, maybe. This is all full of debris from the floods. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. God, I've been down in here a while. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, I've got myself down here, of course, so I now have to get myself back out of here. So that might be interesting. But isn't that a nice spot? This is where I should have stopped for lunch. <laughs> This is a much better lunch spot. However, well, that's nice in the shade. All this black shale, the way the, uh, the water just carves it out. In 2013, this all got chewed out of here pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing. Nature's magic. Eh? Look at that. If that's not nice. I don't know what is. I wouldn't want to be down in here in the heavy rains though. It's a bit tricky to get out. Now I'm not going to attempt fate and walk across the other side of there, even though that looks like some very nice pictures from over there. I'm uh, not going to do that. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Look at that. That'd be lovely. I'm going to go with that. That is very nice indeed. I'm glad I came down in there. This is where I should have had my lunch. Yeah. Yes. Doesn't get much nicer than that, is it? Yeah, I bet in a full on rainstorm. That water had just come down there, pretty spectacular, I should think. Yeah. Look at that. This is why this is called Gorge Creek. Because there's gorges like this all the way up through here. They're everywhere. But this one's uh, reasonably accessible. You can see a lot of people have been over there. 
people are a little bit more adventurous than me, I should think. Yeah. But I am going to head back up there if I can get up there. Isn't that nice? Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Right. All I have to do now is go back up hill. <laughs> I don't see any side shoot trails either up that way, so it looks like I've got to go back up the way I came. Which is not bad because it's a nice safe route. So. Oh, safe ish. So I climb up that. I'm sure the young 20 somethings could probably run up the hill next to me, but I'm not young or 20 something. They'd probably go straight up there, but I'm not. Absolutely stunning. Hard to beat there, eh? Yeah. That doesn't make the uh, end of a good day. I don't know what does. Right, I will put this away and concentrate on getting back up this hill. So we get one more shot of that. That is just nice, eh? Woo. You can feel the cool air coming off the water. That's quite a walk up that slab, I can tell you. Yeah. Right. I've got to climb up there, up to the right hand side there. I think actually I will call that it for this video. But, uh, if that doesn't make a nice backdrop for a really nice video, I don't know what does. Right, thanks for coming along on my little adventure. <laughs>